Good morning, guys. What's going on? It's 9, 10 in the morning. Mimi's just making some oatmeal for me, herself, and Scarly Warley. Um, I'm gonna get a partner training session at the field with Niall Logue, one of my Hartford Athletic teammates. So, ton of touches today. Just me and him should be able to do a ton of good drills, hopefully. But yeah, welcome to the video. Production day. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got the drone out, got everything out. Jeez, it only took you a full year to get me on the on the land. <laughs> You've been on a vlog before, away trip vlogs and stuff. Always me one on one moment. Like I know this is this is our day. Didn't even get a podcast call or anything like madness. Oh, we can get a podcast in this <laughs> off season. Yeah, but here's the uh, here's the field. Not bad. It works. How's your uh, off season been so far? Uh, not too bad, I think. Trying to. Keep the stress levels a bit low, like do you know what I mean? Just yeah. for the incoming and stuff. Um, yeah, because uh, your wife is now 39 weeks, 38 no, weeks, 30, 30, 33. Oh, that's yesterday. nothing then. 33 yesterday, so she was like eight weeks left. Yeah, um, but the, the baby's kind of about like 34, 35 uh -huh. weeks, like it's a little bit obviously a wee bit bigger than the average weighing, like, but um, but no, it's going good, obviously, just kind of. Just chilling really, like just trying to kind of yeah. figure, figure things out and stuff. Every single off season is just like so much details to iron out, oh, figure out yeah. what's going on. I know, seriously. Like the way we always want to be like, oh, that could be pure smart to have a, a win in the off season, right? Because yeah. then you're not, you know, I'm to worry about being in season. Like you have time with a win before yeah. preseason, all these kind of things. Like, f that, mate. Like, I'm just way more stressed. Out. We were I know. talking about it yesterday. We were like, I wish that Wayne came in like the summer or something. That's what, like, that's what oh, I said. I was like, maybe better. if we have another kid, we're having her mid-season. I 100%. It's way better. 100%. Like, <laughs> I was, we were just saying, like, geez, I would love for the, the due date to even be like the start of November. Yeah. Because then at least then, like, going on to December, you're like, right, the Wayne's already a month old. Mm -hmm. They're going on a month. And, like, it's just a little bit easier, like, do you know what yeah. I mean? But the end of December, I'm like, oh, it's so nice. <laughs> The Amazon <laughs> <laughs> so you can't tell Mimi she'll probably figure out when she watches the video but uh I don't have cones here in Connecticut now doesn't have anything it doesn't have soccer balls or cones or anything so um I stole some of Scarlett's little uh cups they're like perfect little cones so use those and I'll set that I'll drop the Amazon affiliate link in the description if you guys want these for your cones <laughs> wait Oh no! Oh, it's gone. Don't, don't show Mimi, man. She's not gonna be happy. <laughs> That's Scarlett's favorite toy. Green. Good touch. Red. Good touch. Blue. Yes. White. Oh, 
Not my fault, Mimi. <laughs> I'll buy a new one on Amazon for you, Mimi. I told you, I mean, I called the, dropped the link. <laughs> Green. Yes. White. Yes. Blue. Yes. Red. Touch. Green. you managed to get some of those touches in the uh, black boots. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Absolute center blocks they are. <laughs> Can't they break up on some time? Do you mean they might just be my off-season boots? Yeah, yeah. That's... But I like the actual boot. Do you wear black boots to... in games? No. It's just it's purely training. Do you get those for free? No. Nah. You bought them? In, uh, Matt Sheldon holds boots. They, oh, there you go. They sponsor me. Wow. Hey, this this vlog's not sponsored. No shouting out holds boots. <laughs> In off season, like a typical one, how many days a week are you training at the field? How many days are you lifting in the gym? Like, what's your how many fitness days are you doing? What does it look like? It just all depends on who's here. Like, yeah. you know I mean, if you're here, Connor's here. Like, I'll go as many times as people really want to go. Or the gym, I'll definitely try and go like at least a good four days, like if I can. Yeah. Um, doesn't necessarily always have to be hard, like. Um, but uh, then touch probably like two or three times, depending on what the other people want to do. If yeah. not, then. I'm fine just kind of doing a little bit of touches here and there until like January and then that's when I like go up the field kind of Ramp stuff. Ramp it like, up. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. so you'll be back when? December, December 30th. So whenever you get back to you as well too, I'm sure we'll just kind of yeah. flat out Connors here and stuff and I'm sure a few other lads will come on the town. Like. Yeah. Here's what I found. 
Oh, jeez, here we can, boy. Was it a medical alert for your heart rate too high? I don't <laughs> I think it's resting heart rate right now, 65. Oh. That's a fuddle, that. That's a fuddle. <laughs>
Chopping it, you just like, like put your hand. Literally, just kick it. Boom. And you kick it. I can't not scoop it. Go down, you're fucking up here. I'm. You're super high. Go right down. Yeah. So I forgot to uh, um, give a background about who you are as a player. You want to just say like where you're from, some clubs that you played for, and then how you ended up here at Hartford. Um, I so Niall Logue um, from Derry, Ireland. I uh, came over to America in 2014. Came out in a soccer scholarship, went to Yavapai Junior College for two years, and then transferred, went to Ohio State um, for two years, and then after Ohio State, decided to go back home and play professionally for my hometown club, Derry City, in the League of Ireland. It's the highest, uh, highest level in Ireland. Um, and then after a year with Derry, I signed for Fan Harps for another year. Um, got married, came back over the States, played, kind of came back over during COVID, um, played like that half COVID season, like yeah. the 15, 16 games we, we FC Tucson, and then signed for El Paso, um, two years at Memphis, and then last year here at Hartford. Mm -hmm. So uh, There we go, yeah, and uh, just got dominated today in two touch. Nah, no, <laughs> I actually humiliated you like. <laughs> Shaw, you watch it back in the day, it was terrible for music. <laughs> I know. I honestly like really felt like I set the standard today for me. You know, you like, think you are rusty. Really, rusty. I had a week off for you. It's terrible. <laughs> it's like a month for anyone else. Like, it's terrible. Like. And I come, heard you and Connor were training. I was like, you know what? I have to come out and set the standard. Yeah. As long yeah. as there's no passengers, I'm alright. <laughs> you know how much work it is going to be to subtitle all of this? It's going to be yeah. impossible. Just bring me over. We'll sit down with me a coffee and I'll be like that. 
There you go. I'll just write. I'll just write uh, I'm sure I'm losing. Honestly, I think all the people will understand me. I think I'm I gonna. I, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose so much retention rate because everybody's gonna click on and be like, "This has to be a different language," and they're just gonna pop off to a different uh, I, video. I, I reckon this will be the most liked video you've ever done. Oh wow. Okay, I, honestly, we'll see. I put it up there, like, at, least, <laughs> at least top three. We'll see. We'll top see. coffee and I'm gonna plan out the workout for today now today's workout is gonna be like an injury prevention day it's gonna be lower body and abs but it's gonna be stuff kind of focused around my problem areas so that's gonna be like groins hip flexors um, hamstrings but it's less of an actual workout and more of just rehab prehab type exercises and I'm gonna finish it with some mobility work and some yoga so time to make some cafecito The coffee art is absolutely pitiful today. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a bird, a fat one. I was thinking, oh yeah, nice little prehab routine. And then I started writing out the program. I started adding Nordic hamstring curls, reverse Nordics, more ab work, more ab work. So it was a decent little workout. So now I'm just gonna do like 15, 20 minutes of mobility stretching stuff and call it a day. my post-workout meal, post-workout snack. I got about 40 grams of whey protein in here. Got a full thing of Ritz crackers, full orange, and a handful of grapes, so I'm gonna eat this. And while I do, I thought I'd do the continuous Q&A. If you guys are new around here and you don't know what the continuous Q&A is, basically, it's exactly what it sounds like. I'm asking you guys to ask a question below in the comments section, and then in the next vlog, I'll pick a question and answer it in that next video. <clears throat> Is that Scarly Wiley? Hi! Are you up from your nap? What's up? Oh yeah. Hi! Oh, you got your teddy bear. Don't let her see your oranges. I can't. I know she loves oranges. Oh, oh, she's home. She's home. <laughs> so for the oh, continuous no. Q&A today, oh, no. it's from Nico Reyes. And Nico asks, are you satisfied with your career? And what do you think you would add to your past that would have helped you go further? So am I satisfied with my career? Um, 
I don't think you're ever 100% satisfied because you always want more. As soon as you get one thing, you want the next higher thing. It happened my entire life. As soon as I made varsity, it was like, okay, now I want to play for the best team in my state club-wise. And as soon as you do that, then you're like, okay, now I want to play in college. As soon as you play in college, you know, it's just a vicious cycle of always wanting more, more, more. And on one hand, that helps you get to where you want to be. But on the other hand, you're never 100% happy with where you're at. So am I 100% happy with where I'm at in the USL? No, you know, I want to play at higher levels in front of more fans, making more money. I think that would be great. But if I take a huge step back and look at my career, I never expected to make it as far as I did. And I think I've greatly surpassed my expectations of, of that were put on me and that I had for myself at 16, 17, 18 years old. So I'm immensely proud of what I've done, but at the same time, I'm never satisfied with where I'm at or, or what I'm doing. And then the second part of that question, uh, what do you think you would add to your past that would help you go further? Um, I think, you know, the training back when I was 11, 12, 13, 14 years old, it wasn't enough and it wasn't at the level that I train at now, obviously, but I really didn't know what to do. There was no YouTube channels with drills to follow. There was no workouts to follow. And I wasn't in a, a great academy setup. There wasn't even an academy in the entire state of Oregon. Um, when I grew up. So I think that, you know, I did a lot with what I had, but ideally what I could add to my past, I mean, I would be in an academy system training five days a week. I would be watching YouTube channels and, and other pros that put out their workouts and trainings and copying that. There's just so much information out there now that I wish I could have that when I was younger. And I wish I could be in a better setup, academy setup training five days a week versus the one or two days a week I was training with my team back at 13 years old. So that's the first continuous Q&A question. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to ask your questions below and we'll keep this thing rolling. can tell from the five huge sweet potatoes I cut up and the three and a half pounds of salmon, but uh, I love to meal prep for dinner. I mean, you guys have probably even seen for, for lunch, I had that same pasta, the same ragu sauce that Mimi made like three nights ago. We'll be eating salmon for the next two or three nights, but I love it because you only really have to cook once every three days, especially if you're with a partner, then you only have to cook basically once a week for dinner and you just get quality, quality meals. And as long as you're changing it up with like, you know, ground beef and chicken and salmon and different side dishes and different vegetables, then nutritionally, you're gonna hit everything that you need to hit on like a weekly or monthly basis. So that's, that's kind of like how I approach it. It's a lot less work, but I always get to have really high quality, nutritious dinners without having to cook every single night. So that's what I do. Here's the finished product. We got a lot of asparagus whole plate full of some salmon and two huge things of some sweet potatoes. Awesome. Little TV dinner night. We're gonna eat the uh, salmon, sweet potatoes, and asparagus in the living room, hanging out with Scarly Warley. Yeah, pretty chill. How is it? Uh, I haven't tasted the salmon yet. What? Dear Jack. Really good. So we didn't watch anything at night at all. Um, Mimi's just been creating Scarlett's uh, Christmas list, already starting to plan about gifts to give her. It's been her favorite activity. Uh, I just kind of planned a trip to Florida for my friend's wedding, and uh, that was about it. So just been hanging out, talking to my friends, and just chilling. Just one of those nights where we just sat on our own computers and said like six words to each other. Like say that this is the first wedding you've Land. Yeah, like ever. yeah. Mimi and I were saying it's crazy that um, I am being a pro footballer. Like you know, you always hear about the good stuff, the good stuff. Uh, but like I've had multiple, multiple friends get married, and I have never been able to attend anybody's wedding, even Mimi's brother's wedding. Um, the only wedding I've ever attended is my sister's wedding, and I had a kind of a fiasco trying to to get to that. It's a long story because it was in season, but I, I made it. Um, but some coaches weren't happy about that or anything. But uh, but yeah, I just, I've never been able to attend anybody's wedding because they've all usually are in season. Nobody really gets married in November, December, or early January. So 
Um, one of my friends is getting married in January, and luckily, so it's just amazing that I'm actually gonna be able to attend this. Uh, but yeah, we just talking about that, just like, you know, part of being a pro. Anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, peace. Yeah.